That's really going for you. It's lunch break, you're eating your sandwich, there's someone next to you, you look at them, you want to say hello, just go for it. How are you? Chilling? Uh, Boom! Where do you work? Within five seconds. Sometimes it feels that people are trying to like fill a form from the DMV for you or something. Please state your name, address and current occupation. I find it much better to relax, you know, you don't need to know all of those informations, just enjoy the moments and as you go, you know, that information will just unfold naturally. I just graduated, so this is like my fourth month as a job. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, man. Thank cool. You. Do you like San Francisco? Uh, did you move to San Francisco from where? Where did you move from? I've grown up here my whole life, like okay. across the bay. So okay. I'll let it I see. How about you? Where are you from? I'm from uh, France. I've been living here for six years now. Do you like it? I like it, but I think I'm going to move to uh, New York or LA. I don't know. I, I feel like I want a bigger city. And check this out. From something very trivial, we start undercovering something. We really, uh, I admire people who can travel, you know, live in new places, getting used to new places, you know? You know what I mean? So for me, I have always... What about college? Do you go to college in the Bay Area as well? Oh, I see. I've literally always been here. I see. Huh. You never wanted to discover somewhere random or like for like a yeah. long time? No. Just... For me, it's hard to build community somewhere else. You know what I mean? What? Like, no, what do you mean? Different groups, things like that. I'm very comfortable with my friends with here. It takes a lot of effort for me to find new friends and build that network. I see. Do you have like the same good friends from like high school or yeah. middle yeah. school? How about you? Are you good at like? I have to say that uh, I have been traveling alone since uh, high school, which had huge impacts on me. Uh, the main one being that when you go somewhere where you, no one knows you, uh, no one is there to remind you how you're supposed to behave, and so you can explore new facets of your personality. Yeah, I've thought about. I think I would always want to move somewhere. And it's if I had like someone like with me, like a girlfriend. Really? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like difficult for me to like go to. What what, what 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 do you think is difficult? Like, can, you, can you pinpoint something? Or do you have oh no, thoughts on that? I don't know what it is. It's building relationships, it's like a lot of effort. And uh, I small talk a lot. Like this is how I talk. I'm like not as joking unless like I get really comfortable with them, and that takes a long time. This is very interesting. He just said that he needs to feel very comfortable with people to be jokey, uh, to basically show his true self. Uh, and that's unfortunate because that means that he interacted with a lot of people uh, where he wasn't able to be his true self. And maybe those people would have loved his true self, you know, uh, which is why I think it's very important to cultivate your self-expression, to challenge the way you relate to people so that you can express yourself and feel at ease with anyone. And I feel like I have like a very specific type of person like I'm good with talking to people like this, like you don't know me, I don't know you, I do like very high level service conversation, yeah. but it's like really connecting with people and like being really good friends, like... Well that also takes time, like you need to see the person over and over and over again until you become close to them. Or do I travel with them? I don't know, I would just like one summer I lived in Seattle, and like during that summer I didn't really talk to many people, so maybe like... I would retry it again if I would ever go to New York. But I would ideally want to go with like a girlfriend or something. I see. I really love this, you know, you start by talking to a stranger and then they start revealing things about themselves, you know, it's so authentic, so genuine, um, and you know, even if you don't become friends with everyone you talk to, well, first of all, you, there's only 24 hours in a day, you won't have time to do that, uh, but I think what's important is that, you know, you're in a situation, there is someone in front of you, you want to talk to them, you do, you cultivate your self-expression, uh, then they start revealing things about themselves, you, you, you get to know them a little, it challenges the way you know, it challenges the way you perceive people, maybe the assumptions you made right before talking to that person. Uh, and overall, you know, the whole experience, I think, make it easier to interact with everyone and express yourself uh, in the long run. Anyway. Right. Are you on your way out? What's your name? My name Ruben. Have a good day, man. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I had this like car accident, which is why he told me this about my back. 
But anyway, I hope that those videos uh, encourage you to talk to people. Uh, you know, don't just sit and watch those videos. Go out, meet people, say hello, and uh, let me know what happens in the comments, how you talk to them, who you met, the stories, the jokes, anything I want to know. Um, also, I would love to meet you. I'm very curious to meet whoever is watching my videos. So please email me at ruben at socialanimal.us. Uh, and I'm going to end by giving a shout out to a few people that uh, reached out to me in the last two weeks that I talked to. Uh, so first I have Brett, I have Ricardo, I have Trammell, Daniele, Monty, Vaughn, John and Engad. That's it for today. I'll see you next time.